What up kids, Specialist here, and today I have a nice little tutorial on how to create your house, or what is the best way to create your house. Biomes, everything, structure, er many extra things, but the basic setup for your house you need to start out with is what biome you created. There are the woods, the rainforest, the desert, snow biome, swamp, what else am I forgetting? Um, <laughs> yeah, the desert, forest, rainforest, yeah, those, create them, there are many different attributes to each of them, each of them can have their benefits, their downsides, in which, some, oh yeah, the plain, the plain is one of the hardest ones to build on, and so is the desert, because they have very, very little trees, the main basis of this game is trees, because without the trees, you are gonna die. <laughs> See all these trees? You need them to live. That's why the rainforest is a very good place to live, but the only problem is you have to live in a tree pretty much. You can't live anywhere else but a freaking tree. Because there is, even if you try to live down low, there are trees down there. So it's really hard to live in here. But there is the easiest place for noobs to start out, or new people to start out, is a regular rain, regular forest, a swamp, and snow biome. Because there's tons of trees, there's usually a decent amount of flat land, if there's not you can clear it out pretty easily. Good trees, there's a ton of resources, lots of water, and the swamp has mushrooms which makes it easier to get food and stuff because you just make food out of the mushrooms. Snow is just freaking looks cool. <laughs> and then there's the forest which is a basic one that is very popular among the people because it's just easy to build on. And then there is also the one of my let's play series I'm doing is the extreme mountains, hills, whatever. That's very hard to build on. It kind of gets tedious to getting materials because you have to go up and down, up and down, up and down just to get things. But if you create a good one on the ha uh, blah, blah, blah. good house on the mountain, it looks really cool. It's just doing that. You have to know what you're doing. It's not for really new people. It's That's why new people really need to stick in more of the swamp areas or the regular forest areas of the snow. So let's go look around. See, here has tons and tons of trees. Swamp has their, whatchamacallits, the mushrooms, lily pads, all that. And apparently it has random lava pits. Not everybody has random lava pits. Let's see whatever places you can look at. You see, all this flat land, that is where you need to live. If you're new, that's where you need to live. Then, oh yeah, I forgot to put on large biomes, but you get the gist of it. Most places have their benefits, and some places are a lot harder to live in. And if you're like a harder player that want to challenge, I would build in um, a desert or plains. Or extreme hills. Extreme hills is probably the hardest just because it's you're on a hill. And then here's a snow biome. It looks very similar to this one, except there's not as much water. And if there is water, it's freaking frozen. And there's a, usually tons of trees. I don't know where the trees are. Unless it melted or something, I don't know. <laughs> Trees melted. But, it looks very similar to the, that one. I mean, the swamp biome. So, if you're just starting out and you want to just build easy, I would choose here. This is probably the least amount of trees I've ever seen in a snow biome. Usually it's like filled with them. But, in the next session of this video, I'm going to talk about the structure of your house. The way it could look, different, different, um building styles and materials, and yeah, see you in a minute. This next section of my little create a house video, I'm going to show you the materials that you can use to create a house, and everything on here is based on preference. Whether you use wood, cobblestone, sandstone, or brick, it doesn't matter. There is a con to wood, though, it can be burned down. But other than that, they're pretty much all the same. It's just whether you like the way it looks in creating your house. You can also use, these are the reason I picked these four is because these are the basic ones a lot of people use. These two are the biggest ones. They're also used for floors a large part. These 
sandstone and what I've seen is mainly used for floors just because it's so smooth on the top. Then bricks are used for fireplaces, sometimes houses, sides of houses. So you're used for outlining and just make making the house look better. And all these can use for floors. This is also a bigger one to use for floors too. Actually, both the building and the floors, which I don't really like. I think you should, if you're going to use these two, you should use this one for the walls or this one for the walls. And then use the other one for the floor. Not both, that just kind of makes it look weird. But if you like that, use it. It doesn't really matter. Also, an upside to another material is obsidian. It can't be destroyed. Or, I mean, it can be destroyed, but it can't be blown up, burned. It can't be... It takes forever to cut down, and that's why it's probably the best one to make a house with, but hardest to get. You need a ton of it. It takes forever to cut down. And... Yeah, it doesn't look that attractive, so it's, it has a lot of downsides to the big con, I mean, pro to it. So, that is what you probably need to do, or blah, 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 blah. the materials you need to make a house. These are probably the four that you choose from, mainly these, because these are harder to get. But, that is, the, these are the materials that you use, and it is all based on permits, so... In the next section, I'll be showing you actually how to make the house, creating the house, design for the house, what you can do with just a basic outline like this or something. And I'll see you in a minute. So in creating a house, if you're just going to start out your world with creating a small block house, probably not this small since you can't do anything in this, but usually would start out with a smaller house just to get started to have a bed, crafting table, and all that other stuff, and just so you can survive the day. And then after that, you decide you want to expand it more, you want to create a better looking house. And what you do probably, I would, if I was you, I would go off of the basis of the old design. You just take some things out, add it, expand it. Your house can change drastically really fast, you can just expand it this way. Depending on how much materials you have, you can do a lot of things. Expand this out. A little more. Place that, 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 that. that. And this is all on your opinion what you want to do. Nobody else. Don't go to those videos. Or I, I don't like those videos that actually tell you what to do on creating a house. I believe you should just create how you want to create it. Don't listen to somebody else is how to create their house. Create your own house. Don't create theirs. Because that just, I think, defeats the whole purpose of creating a house. You want to create one of your own, not somebody else's. This is just going off a of random. I'm creating this randomly. I've never created this house before in my life. <laughs> uh, what did I do over here? Her. What did I do over her? Whoops. Boom. Bam, bam, bam. That's gonna look stupid, but I will. <laughs> and... Probably should have some dirt under this. Oh, well. Yeah. You can do a lot of things with the house. You don't just have to actually make the regular... Make it all one material. Is that pretty much even? Yeah, let me f take this out. Expands. I mean, it's not huge still, but it's a lot more. It's about broader than the other one. You probably actually want to move this up a little more. To get it taller, because you don't usually want to bump your head on the house every time you walk or jump or anything. It's kind of gets annoying after a while. Eesh. Usually, you probably make it four blocks up, three blocks or three. Because three, you don't bump your head, but it's still kind of annoying just to have it, like, right there. Four is probably my preference. I don't usually make a four. I usually actually make a three just because I'm a lazy. don't feel like it. But I would show you how to make a roof, but I'm going to show you that in the next part of the video. But, yeah, this is just expanding it even more. This isn't, like, great or anything. I'm just doing this really fast just to show you. Bam. Wait. Your house is expanded. <laughs> it kind of looks funny, but I don't care. But something you can do is 
just take different parts of it out. Just make it different. Don't make it the same as it regularly would be. Just one material. Try to make it something different. Like that. Or you can cobblestone or something. Like it. Like this. Kind of going sideways. Kind of looks funny. Bam. And then take these out. Whoops. Yeah, just be creative with what you do. Don't don't really worry about if it looks stupid. You can fix it. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't look perfect the first time you do it. See, I, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Here. And. Bam. And. Bam. I mean, that doesn't well, really look great, but. Whatever, I'm just showing you how it can look and just be creative with everything in it. That looks, let's try it. <laughs> that looks really weird. No matter if it looks stupid to you, you can you can expand it and make it look better. Because I really doubt you're going to keep the way it looks every single time. You're going to change things over time. If you get tired of it, just change it. Uh, th this is just a small example while I missed a whole block right here. But, yeah, just, again, be creative. Don't really worry if it doesn't look great or perfect the first time. You're going to get better at it. Just think about it. You have your nice little house now. It's more, ex it's much ex more expanded. Take these out. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Take these out. You have even more room. So, that is the end of this section. It's kind of off right there. Yeah, but this is the end of this section, and the next section I'll be showing you how to make a roof for the house. To make it look even better, this is, the house actually doesn't really need much of a roof. Let's see what I can do with it. Boom. <laughs> looks really weird. But, yeah, I'll see you in a minute for the next section of the video. In this section, I'm going to be talking about the type of roofing, in which, again, it doesn't really matter what materials you use, but it does matter on the type of house you make. Because if you create a square house, it's going to be, I mean, a, like a triangular house, it's going to re be really hard to put a roof like this on it or something. But, so you do have to take into account for what kind of house you have, what your house looks like. Which, I usually use this one. It's probably my favorite one just because, I don't know. But, you can use this one at different angles. They're like turns in your house, corners, anything. You can um, cr put this in the house. It doesn't have to look rectangular like this. But, it is going to be really hard to do it like at, say, a different shape other than... Uh, can't do it like at a triangle or something. If you try to do it like a circle, it's going to be really hard. I know it's not a perfect triangle or circle, but there it would be really hard to do. And here is another one you can use. You can use different things. You don't have to just use blocks. You can use stairs. You can use, really, I'm not sure what else there is to use, but you can use different materials to create your house. You don't just have to use blocks. You can use stairs, like I just said. And let's see what else you can use. Really? Yeah, you can only use stairs. <laughs> Unless you can really think about it and figure something else out for your house, then these are some of the basic ones you can use just to create your roofing on your house. Some of these kind of look the same. Like this one and this one, they look very much similar, but this one just uses a different material. You cut this out. They're almost the same. It's just this one's kind of bigger and than that one. And those use stairs. This one's kind of the same too, except this one just stops at one level and this one keeps going to three. You can. It depends on how big your house or, or yeah house is, in which you can make it how tall you want it. And then this one over here, I created myself. It's just something I kind of made up in my head. I thought it looked cool, so I thought I'd make it. But. That is the end of this section. In the last section of the video, or no, 
yeah, the last section of the video, I'm going to talk about, like, upstairs and a few extra little things you can add to your house to make it look cool. Very good. And the last part of the video, I'm going to talk about more, some extra things you can do, some things you actually do need, but it's your preference. Again, one of the things you're going to have to do in your house, you're probably not going to only want one level of your house. You, only, you want upstairs and downstairs. And that's usually, depending on where you're living, is whether you're going to choose upstairs or downstairs. Because if you're living on a huge mountain, you're usually not going to want an upstairs, just because... It's already high enough, I would think you wanted that high. But you would probably more want a downstairs because of how much leeway you have when you go down. I mean, in my other, my let's play I'm using, I'm going upstairs. But I just feel like I should go upstairs because I'm already creating a mine downwards and a garden downwards. So, you want to choose whether you have an upstairs or downstairs depending on where you live. And most places you can have both. It doesn't really matter. But there are certain instances whether you have, if you build in the middle of the water, you're not usually going to want to have a downstairs because, well, it's really hard to create a downstairs in the middle of water. And in mountains, you would more want it underground. And, yeah, that's about it. You can have it both, but... Usually you would want one or the other just because it makes it a lot easier. And some last things I want to talk about are lighting, glass, and all that. And usually for lighting, you would rather have both light and, like, torches and windows. You wouldn't want just one both because it really helps. They complement each other whenever you have both of them. You have glass, and then you have torches because at night you, if you're not going to get a whole lot of light through the glass at night so you're going to need torches to help that out and then in the day you have both the light from the torch and the sun coming in so it really helps and some a decorative thing you can put glowstone and then but that yeah, you can't see the glowstone and you still get the light so i thought that was cool and that is probably going to be it for this video. I hope this video helped you choose how to create a house, how you would want to create a house, and all that. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I worked hard on this video. And if you want to see more of them, please subscribe. I'm sorry if I was stuttering in some places. I was trying to think. <laughs> so, if you liked it, then like it. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. And thank you. And peace.